Anytime there is partnership, everybody comes in with their interest. But as an artist, at every point in time, he has his expectations. As an artist, at every point in time, he has the way he wants his things to go. Ladies and gentlemen, our great timekeepers, Munyanam, we are timekeepers, fellow debaters, Munyanam, we are debaters, fellow viewers, unsubscribers, you are welcome back to another video on Lucas Trends. This is an update. You know, two days ago, I gave you an update on why Shatawale had deleted his YouTube, I mean, not his YouTube channel, his Connect album from his YouTube channel. Sammy Flex has come to explain things. And then, okay, if you connect the dots, it seems to be exactly what I was talking about. Yes, it seems to be exactly what I was anticipating. And I am not surprised at all. Sammy Flex has explained. This is Lucas Trains. Please click on the subscribe button and let us cook. Lucas Trent, yes, he is doing great and I think he deserves some attention. So yes, two days ago I brought you guys an update that Shatawale had deleted his Connect album from YouTube, including his real life music video, which had clocked, I think, about 1.6 to 1.7 million views completely from YouTube. Yes, Shatawale actually did that. And then he came to explain. He kept it on Facebook, but the explanation was not very, very clear. He mentioned that, yes, he manages his YouTube channel all by himself. He does everything himself. And then he deleted the videos and the songs from YouTube. And he added, I do not joke with my money. There! I made an assertion that probably, I mentioned again, probably, you know, Shatawale had partners, yes, for this particular, um, album, I think Black Entertainment and then Bankuli Entertainment, yeah, they had a collaboration on producing that album. I said earlier, Shatawale is fond of doing everything on his own, but this time around, Shatawale decided to have partners for this particular project. And now, <clears throat> Shatawale putting that up, I made a guess. That probably a bear casacasa concerning Sikasem. Yes, it could be some misunderstandings concerning financial issues. You know, Shatawale did not do this album alone. Yes, you know, Shatawale has is fan of doing things independently than things. This time around, he collaborated with Nigeria's Bankuli and then featured, I think, three or four artists on this album. So definitely, there might be some royalties, there might be some money sharing, there might be some. You understand? Probably, probably. That is what I'm thinking. Probably, probably. Ebia, there's a casacasa somewhere. Maybe there's a casacasa somewhere concerning the Connect album on the YouTube revenue generated. Probably that is why Shatawale has deleted the album. As a stance, there is no details on the actual reason, but he said he did it himself and he doesn't joke with his money. Sammy Flex has come to clear the air, and this is what Sammy Flex had to say. There are many ways of handling issues, but unfortunately, at every point in time, you can only apply one. You can only apply one. From the beginning of the release of the album, or from the creation of the album, one thing has been constant. We've been telling followers of Shata Movement that, indeed, Shatawale, this time around, partnered some other people to do this. He partnered Bankuli Entertainment from Nigeria. He partnered um, Mad Solutions from Nigeria to do this particular album. And obviously, anytime there is partnership, at every point in time, there are different or individual interests from different corners. So there will be the interest of um, Shatter Movement Empire, there will be the interest of Mad Solutions, there will be the interest of um, um, Bankuli Entertainment as well. Anytime there is partnership, everybody comes in with their interest. But as an artist, at every point in time, he has his expectations. As an artist, at every point in time, he has the way he wants his things to go. At every point in time, if these things change, definitely the artist will not be happy. Definitely the artist will not be happy. I know so many people wanted... Um, videos to be shot for the album so many people wanted different promotional strategies to be used to promote the album but even the fans i think the fans have done more i'm sure as an artist knowing the investment that he has also put in he would want the other partners to also come in with the same energy he would want the other partners to also come in with the same force an artist as an independent artist as someone who is funding all his projects he wasn't seeing that and i'm sure 
like I said, there is a process in achieving some of these um, objectives. There is a process in handling some of these some of these things. And to him, he thinks this is one of the first process to handle that. So to avoid any back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, let me first put the one on YouTube down. When I put the one on YouTube down and we are able to have some conversations and it works, I'm sure we can get back to normal. Maybe if we are not able to reach any proper conclusion and it remains as such because as much as i know the the rest of the marketing the digital platforms they also have the songs there but shatter has said his claim that to him he's not too satisfied with how the money side is being discussed and i'm sure this is why we are experiencing what we are experiencing now it is not anything away from anything from anybody or it's not anything strange happens about how the money discussion is going as an artist if it doesn't go the way you want you get worried as an artist if it doesn't go how you had how, how you have envisioned the thing to go and it is not going like that obviously you feel like to come back if you listen to what Sammy Flex is saying very clearly, some things are not going well in terms of revenue sharing and then some agreements. But sometimes I wonder how artists do allow these things to get to this stage. There must have been some contracts signed somewhere, written contracts. So if the contracts are written, maybe if we get this number of views on YouTube, if you make this amount of revenue on YouTube, Shatawale, your share is this, Shatawale, your management is this, Bankuli, your, your share is this, um, Black Entertainment or whatever, who was also a partner of this, this is your share. Would it get up to this extent? Yes, Sammy Flex did not diss out the exact details, but we could hear it clearly. It's all about financial misunderstandings. It is all about financial misunderstandings. Anyway, Sammy Flex added that the songs are out on all other digital streaming platforms. And he added, Shatawale is back with his release at on. Yes, yesterday I mentioned that on my reaction on uh, Father Violet. I've, I've, he, I've seen a lot of people trashing that song on Twitter, which I strongly disagree with. That song is a very beautiful song. Forget about the content, but that song bangs. That song bangs. I have done a reaction to that song. If that song does not bang, just go and watch my reaction. It will bang you by itself. Go and watch my reaction on YouTube. It will bang you by itself. So yes, as I was saying earlier, Sammy Flex has explained why Shatawale deleted the Connect album from YouTube. It is about the partners and then revenue misunderstandings. Yes, so... My guess was very, very, very right. My guess was actually very right. I saw this coming. If you have not subscribed to Lucas Strengths yet, please subscribe. Put your post notification bell so that anytime a new video is dropped on this channel, you do not miss it. This was just an update. Probably we might come with another reaction very, very soon. Subscribe and put your post notification bell on so that you do not miss it. Bye-bye.